Hi everyone, this is a quick uh, tutorial to show how to actually calculate the typical distance to a cluster. I'm going to demonstrate this on uh, some glue data on the Hyades cluster, even though your homework asks you to do the Precipice cluster. Your, uh, yeah, just so that you can get the same answer, uh, use the same method, but uh, different results. So I'm going to drop in uh, the Hyades data, and I last time what we did was we calculated a histogram of uh, the parallaxes. We found the parallax for, in this case, the Hyades, and it had a nice distribution, and I'd look and I would say, this is about uh, a parallax of 21 milli arc seconds, and so from that I could figure out this would be, what, 50-ish parsecs away or something like that. Uh, so uh, what I actually want to do is teach you a little bit of something new, which is how to do a actual calculation since all of these things belong to the cluster. Uh, and the way we're going to do it is up here, and it's fallen off my screen, but you might have a little button. I have something called a terminal. And so what I can do with the terminal is pop it up. And this is some garbage that I was doing earlier. Uh, anyways, what I can do is I can actually drop the data container into that terminal. And it'll pop up a little variable name. And I'm going to call this H, I A D S, Hyades. And so now inside my Python, uh, I have this command line prompt. And I can use this to do a bunch of operations uh, mathematically. So if you're used to Python, you can do things like use as a desktop calculator. Um, and it will calculate all these wonderful math things for you. Um, and so we can get all of these uh, great calculations. And in particular, I have now, because I dropped it in and I named it, I have a variable called Hyades. And, and so Hyades has all of the attributes of the original data set. And so if I drop Hyades, in, oh, let me just look at the histogram to illustrate all the variables we have. All of these belong to Hyades, the variable. And so if I want to calculate them, uh, what I can do is I can look at the, uh, calculate on them. I can look at the variables like this is L, which is the galactic longitude. And if I hit return, type it and just hit return, it spits out the galactic longitude of everything in the Hyades. Uh, what I actually care about is the parallax. So I say Hyades parallax. And I have to use this square bracket notation. So variable name, square bracket notation. And I put in single quotes uh, the uh, name of what I care about. It has to be exactly as it appears in the variable, lowercase, all that it's sensitive to. And I hit Hyades parallax hit return, and it spits out all of the uh, parallaxes. And so if I want to actually calculate what the typical distance is here, I'm going to calculate the average. And so to calculate the average, I need to take advantage of some sort of spreadsheet style operations in here. And I need to load a Python package that I'm going to call NumPy. Uh, and Python doesn't know about NumPy automatically. They say, oh, tell me about NumPy. It says, NumPy is not defined. Don't know about it. So I have to basically tell Python, like, remember, I care. You know, you know Python, uh, or you know NumPy. Let me remind you of that. And so I'm going to type import NumPy. And so if I type import NumPy, suddenly the whole program knows about NumPy and says, oh, there's this module. I can uh, do all the operations on it here. But I almost always do the following. Uh, just to make my code a little cleaner, I say import NumPy as NP. And then NP represents NumPy. And so anytime I see NP and then I'll use a dot, something that's a numpy operation or a numpy function. Uh, I can do import numpy as uh, fleam and then fleam uh, represents numpy or something like that. But I prefer uh, mp. And so to actually go back and get previous commands, I'm just hitting the up arrow on my keyboard. So now I have numpy in here and numpy has a bunch of operations inside it. In particular, it has something called 
NumPy sum. And this tells me that this will add up a bunch of things along an x-axis. So what I want to do is I want to add up everything in the, let's see here, Hyades, Parallax. And this is going to add up all of those entries. If I want to calculate a mean, that's uh, that value. And then what I want to do is I want to calculate the number of things in the parallax. So I will usually do that by saying that this is, uh, I usually use this, I use len, which calculates the length or the number of items in something, which is the Hyades parallax. And then that value there, 21.15, is the mean parallax. And then the distance, uh, I can call that to call that mean p for mean parallax. Well, let's be a little more parallax. And then to figure out the distance, I can say, well, what I really want is uh, the distance is going to be, uh, let's see here, 1 parsec over mean parallax over a thousand cause parallax is in milli arc seconds. And that means that, oh, it's 47.27 parsecs away. So that's how I would calculate uh, the mean parallax. Numpy's even better than that though. It says, well, you do sums all the time um, and add up things, but we can also calculate averages because we're, uh, yeah, we're a smart little computer program. So if I actually wanted the mean distance, I would, Hyades, parallax, and I'd say to calculate the mean, oops, it would give me what I deserved. It would give me the exact same answer. NumPy is good that way. I can even get fancier. Uh, there are some times when we don't want the mean, but we want the median. So I can change mean to median, and it will change, give me the median value instead of the mean. Uh, it can also calculate the standard deviation. That's not relevant to this problem. I'm just showing that NumPy is amazing. You can calculate the standard deviation if you need to know the spread in distances. Uh, np.min will tell me the smallest parallax in there. np.max will tell me the max parallax in there. So we have all of these operations inside NumPy that allow me to uh, do a bunch of operations on the set of numbers Remember that this whole Hyades bracket, square bracket, parallax, close square bracket is just an array of numbers. And it is, how long is it? It is a 515 element long list of numbers. And my computer is just really good at calculating numbers. So uh, that's how you can use this to actually do a full calculation on this rather than just estimating something from uh, the parallax. All right, uh, good luck on your homework.